if you're ready to experience more peace and joy in your life, if you want to feel more comfortable in your own skin, and if you're ready to discover and expand on your energetic gifts and personal power, you're in the right place. So here's your host, Kelly Sparta. Welcome back to Spirit Guides. I'm your host, Kelly Sparta, transformational shaman, spiritual business coach. I am here, as always, with my best friend in Boquete, Catherine Laranger, who is a spiritual business coach and a badass of her own accord. And so we are talking today. Well, I don't know. Do you really want to do this episode? I'm not sure I want to do this. I don't episode. want to. I just want to go have a nap, Kelly. Yeah, I, I've, I've got programming on the website to do, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, I think I'm going to go make, I'm going to go like make lunch. Maybe I'll, yeah, I was going to say, I'm getting a little hungry, you know, could yeah. we do something else? Oh, I actually need to like clean my patio furniture carpets because the dog. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm, and so. I got to go shopping for that artwork you said and that I need my living room now that I've rearranged. Yeah, you got to balance room. that out. Yeah. 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 I actually so. some really mm-hmm. good like hanging like wicker style lamps if that's kind yeah. of your vibe. Yeah, I, I, we, we could talk about it, but, but, no, but we're, no, we're supposed to be doing a podcast yeah. right now. Oh, we're God. talking okay. about, if you haven't guessed it, <laughs> pro- procrastination. 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 <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Now I want you to notice that the title of the, the episode is procrastination. You're not lazy. And mm-hmm. I want you to notice because everybody thinks procrastination is about being lazy, mm-hmm. but typically we're not do we're not avoiding something to do nothing we're typically adding in other tasks if you listen to us and we were just improving that right mm-hmm. each one of us were like oh well maybe i'll do this instead or that instead of that it's, it's always a busy thing right it's never a lazy thing so i want you to start with the understanding that you're not lazy Mm-hmm. You're, you're in fact you probably work too much if you're listening to this podcast it's almost certain that you work too much but procrastination is not about being lazy it's about not wanting to do the thing for a reason there's a reason why you're not wanting to do it right so we want to talk about those reasons so do you want to start with the resistance side of things Catherine? Well, I will. Yes. So it's interesting because I use totally different language than okay. we're taught. We're talking about the same thing, right? So, okay. so anybody, if you've been listening for a while, you kind of know what I talk about that we have a core identity and that identity consists of a comfort zone and a comfort zone is just the life that you have known. And so anytime you start to, to make a move outside of that comfort zone or thinking about getting out of that comfort zone. And often it's like taking an action and we're talking about business or taking an action in your business. That's maybe, you know, like a different action that's going to give you a result. It's not, we're not talking about just like endlessly scrolling social media, doing quote unquote research, because that's actually procrastination, (laughs) but actually taking an action that's going to result in a different result in your business. What happens is that that internal structure, your operating structure feels threatened because it's unfamiliar. And because it's leading to something that it equates as like a tiger on the wild savanna that's going to kill you because it's unfamiliar. So it's going to throw up these strategies to try to keep you from actually taking that action. And so procrastination is a super, super common one, right? It's where you're telling yourself, okay, well, I'll do this thing but after I take care of this thing first, or I'll take care of this thing, like, and especially if you're like a, you know, a small business owner, maybe you work from home after I, you know, throw, I'll just throw a little laundry in first and then I'll get to it or, oh, I should really kind of take a look and see what, you know, so-and-so social media account is looking like, or look at how many likes or, you know, follows I have, or I should spend hours going, going into groups and, you know, trying to engage with people rather than so that procrastination is actually a self-protective move. And so the counter to that then is to, as always, to notice it. Okay, here's what I'm doing. 
and give yourself a high five for noticing because you're awesome because you notice. So that's amazing. And if you don't notice, you can't do anything about it. So the fact that you notice means that you can now do something about it. And then what you do is you tell yourself, okay, I am choosing to take this action right now, or I am choosing to engage in this action and you just freaking do it. Yeah, I, you, I have just freaking do it. Yeah. When, when I talk about this and, and that's, that is what I would call a avoidance resistance, right? Yeah. Yeah. To use psychology. So like it's a different language. Yeah. Just same yeah, idea. Just different language. Yeah. Yeah. And the answer to an avoidance resistance is always just do it. Right. And I find that if it's a particularly difficult one, I will often have to look at my ego and say, you need to get on board or you need to get out of the way because I'm going here, whether you like it or not, mm -hmm. we're doing this. So on board or out of the way, choose, right? Because the, you know, sometimes the, the resistance is so high, right? It's just like, Ooh, and I see yeah. this a lot with spiritual practitioners in particular, spiritual coaches. They're so into the spiritual world that anytime they have to touch tech, they go straight into phobia. It's just like, it's like, well, it's because they've made a decision, you know, we right. talked about that last episode or they've created an identity. I don't know tech. Right. Right. Yep. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's just, it's so out. So it's, it's so structured compared to the intuitive that they're used to doing that. It's just outside of their, their comfort zone. Right. Yeah. It's totally out of the comfort zone. Yeah. And that's fine. And, you know, there are ways to minimize the amount of tech you have to touch. And, and, you know, I'm totally about that because, you know, tech can get very boggy, boggy down if you put too much effort into it, but you know, the, you can't be phobic about it. Not in today's world. Not if you don't hope to just do all of your marketing face-to-face, -face, right? Unless you're going to do all your marketing face-to-face -face and networking events and classes and whatever, you're going to have to touch tech. And you probably are still going to have to touch tech a little bit to, to do even that because you've got to have some sort of online presence these days or else, you know, people think you don't, you, you're, you don't know what you're doing. Right. Or you're so, a yeah. <laughs> so, so, you no, know, no, all no, of these really. things. <laughs> yeah. So the, uh, I want to talk about the other side of perfectionism though, because there, there is a uh, sorry. Per yes. That's a bird. My end. That's we what I meant. About procrastination. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes. Yeah. We were just talking, we were, we, we just did two episodes back to back. So, yeah, we, so we just talked about, and they're, with they're connected. They're connected for sure. They are. They absolutely yeah. are. But another thing about procrastination is that sometimes it's not actually procrastination. Sometimes it's the universe saying, wait, if you start to do something and there's no energy, not an immediate flip to, you know, squirrel, 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 squirrel is, is avoidance, right? But if you go to try and do it and the energy just drops through the floor, mm -hmm. that's not procrastination. That's your body connecting into the energetic world and going, not yet. Mm -hmm. So that just happened with me. I started to do a project and I ran into something and my energy went through the floor and I was like, huh, I'm going to put this aside and I'm going to see what's happening. And then something happened that actually caused me to have to stop that project entirely. And if I had continued on, I would have engaged something that would have put me into a monthly payment plan that I wouldn't have been able to use because everything's on hold now. And so the universe was like, no, nah, you don't need to spend that money right now. It wasn't a lot of money, but I, why not? Right. Why not not spend the money? Right. It was, well, it was $32, not, you know, why not, <laughs> why not be accessing your intuition and guidance from the universe, the quantum right. Of intelligence, right? Yes. Yeah. So I think the flip side of that then too, is for, for people to develop the level of discernment where they know, oh, this is actually my intuition speaking versus this is procrastination just trying to be all sneaky yeah. right so i'll define the difference for you on that procrastination feels like i don't wanna i don't wanna or squirrel 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 right something else comes or first higher priority more important yeah right yeah. Yeah. yeah and this is more of a okay i'm engaged and then woof, 
all the right. energy drains out right. of the floor. Right. And you're right. like, I have no energy to do this. Why do I have no energy? To, I'm not in resistance. I want to do it. I'm, I, I, I want to, but there's zero energy to do it. There's a huge difference between those two things. Totally. Totally. Yeah. 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 So, but if from the outside, it can look like procrastination, right? Yeah. And, you know, there's a bunch of things going on right now that I'm like, mm, I should mm, not yet. Right. <laughs> because there's just no energy for it. And I'm like, I've got yeah. plenty of other things to do. I'll do them over here. It'll be fine. And then I keep testing to say, is this stuff ready? And it's like, nope, not yet, not yet, not yet. And I'm like, all right. So, you know, that's how that goes. So, so I would love to talk a little bit about the importance of the, the frequency with which you take action. So, so everything is energy, right? We're both spiritual and by spiritual, it's like, you know, working with universal spiritual laws, metaphysics, quantum field, grand overall design, like whatever you want to call it. But this, this infinite intelligence that's out there that is available to guide us and support us and knows the how, even when we don't know the how, because we're actually not supposed to know the entire how. And so the, the, the the energy or the frequency that you embody when you take an action or work on your business, imagine that when you take that action, it's then sending out ripples that are on a certain frequency. So if you're taking an action and you're like, oh, this is a stupid freaking action and I don't want to take this action, but I'm going to take this action anyway, because I'm taking action. It's a stupid action, but I'm going to take it. Like that's the energy you're emitting, right? And so- right are going to attract you're going to connect with things at that same frequency so it's it's critical that you you notice you check in okay what's my frequency what's my state and to generate and learn to generate a state at will and you know gratitude is like one of the easiest ways to connect with a higher level state to be grateful for um, to feel excited about to connect to your vision to feel the frequency of that and then take the action because when you take that action and you're taking movement you're you know you're kind of like shifting molecules in a 3d world that then is the frequency that's going out associated with that action and so that frequency then is going to connect with frequencies at a similar nature so that could be clients it's off it's often an idea uh, could be synchronicities could be just like random out of the blue opportunities could be meeting up with somebody could be ideas like there's like so many ways that the universe can surprise and delight you and it's that you know when you're taking action in the face of procrastination that you're connected to the state the frequency with which you want the result to associate yeah. does that make sense and- it makes perfect sense. And, you know, this is one of those universal law things, right? They, I actually, in, in the spiritguideschool.com, if you go to spiritguideschool.com, we have a course in the school that's free and it's called Seven Steps to Freedom. And it, it really goes over a lot of these universal laws. And so I would highly recommend that you go over and sign up for that. It's, it's, it's a long course. It's not like a mini like BS little course. It's done by Vic Strayas. And he is really good at it. I mean, it is stunning. He's talking about universal laws. He's talking about Napoleon Hill. He's talking about all kinds of stuff. Uh, and, and, you know, I was like, it was a reminder of everything I'd ever studied in the beginning of my life with my mother. Right. And so it was fantastic. The course I'm, I'm super, I just went through it again and was like, wow, yeah, this is really good. And thanks for the reminders. So the, the program's amazing and it's super, and it's free. So go get it uh, again, spiritguideschool.com hit courses and you'll find it in there. Seven steps to freedom is the, the name of it. So you know, this is the, the procrastination and, and just the way that we hold ourselves. You know, these are the things, this is how we manifest, right? We've been talking about manifestation off and on. I've been talking about it in the Monday classes. And, and you know, the way that we hold ourselves is how we attract energy, right? So if it's a, if, and the way we, we hold money is the way that we attract energy. So if you are being stingy with paying the people that you owe money to, then people will be stingy about paying you. 
right? If you are being stingy with yourself and investing in yourself and your own personal growth and your business growth, then you're going to attract clients who have no money, mm -hmm. right? And who are being stingy about letting go of that money to work with you, yeah. Yeah. right? And that's just, that's how it works. What, what we get put out is what we get back, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, these are the sorts of things. And we'll talk more about that in another episode. We've got an episode planned on, on leveling up your, your uh, money. But you want to pay attention to what is your dominant energetic. Mm -hmm. And if your dominant energetic is resistance in some fashion, whether that's procrastination, whether it's perfection and control, like we talked about on the last episode, you know, whether it's any, you know, the panic pivot that we talked about on the episode before that, you know, all of these resistance patterns, if you're in resistance, your clients are going to be in resistance. Well, or so, they might not even find you. It's right. More likely. That too. <laughs> yeah. Because they're not actually going out and looking because they're resisting the looking and they're saying, oh, yeah. I should do my laundry. Right. And you're, <laughs> you know? resist you're resisting the receiving too. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's all of that. And so, you know, getting over your resistance patterns is huge. It's absolutely required in order to get your business to operate at a higher level. It, 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 I, I can't stress it strongly enough. Mm -hmm. So, and you know, the welcome to the woo program is all about getting you past your resistances. That's what we do. We get you over that. We, we get you into the energetics. We teach you all the basics of intuition and managing your energy field and clearing and controlling and patterns and, you know, putting up shields and wards and protections and all of this, and then talking to your guides and being able to do all of that. Plus, we're also dealing with fear and anxiety and worry and dread and self-doubt and inner and outer judgment. And we're building a foundation of self-support and courage. All of those things are done in four months, just four months. And that breaks through your resistance patterns. It helps you to stand more solidly in yourself, helps you to open up to be able to receive more. And it is, it will have a massive impact across your entire life and your business and everybody you touch. So, you know, we guarantee it cuts your stress levels in half in, in four months or your money back. And I have never in the seven years we've been running this, given anybody their money back because they didn't get that, that result. So, you know, this, the, nobody's ever asked. So this is the, one of the most important things for you to do is to break through those resistances. And, you know, we've been talking about them for four episodes now, so, um, you know, and a lot of it's identity shift, right? Like you were talking about is being able to step into that new way of being. Mm -hmm. So I, anything else you want to say about procrastination? Yeah. So I just, I also just want to say that, so again, we're kind of talking about the same thing, but different language, right? So, so knowing that as you step into this next level version of you, right. And you're, you're listening to this podcast, you're interested in self-development, you're running a business because there is this longing in you for something more and that longing in you is life itself, right? That's how life expresses itself. And we kind of talked about that a little bit in the last episode as well, where this, this desire for greater prosperity, greater love, you know, health, like what, whatever that is, different experiences, that is life. And so as you start to take action to step into that, that different version of you, that more expanded version of you, it is by definition going to cause you to step outside of the life you have known, which is that comfort zone. So yeah. Kelly uses the word breaking through resistances. I, I use the word, you know, comfort zone and, and, you know, kind of internal structures. And here's the thing. So what's going to happen is that you're going to step outside that comfort, comfort zone. You're going to stretch it. You're going to normalize it, which is important because you want to stabilize that new result. And then it's going to become your new comfort zone. So you're going to have a new one. And then there's going to be like this, like, oh, wow, like I did that. Like, what else would I love? What else what could I create in my life? Like, this is kind of fun. And then there's going to be a new comfort zone. So those quote unquote resistances, those, you know, the, the, the procrastination, the perfectionism, the, they're going to show up again, because those are just the ways that your internal systems try to keep you in the life that you have created. So knowing that when you break through it, it's, you're not one and done. It's not like, okay, it's gone forever. It's like, no, it's like that level of you is, is you've now expanded this level of you. 
But if you so desire, there is so much more out there for you. Yeah. I see that a lot with people doing manifesting. They'll do manifesting and they'll manifest something amazing. And then they'll yeah. never try and manifest anything again because they freak out because they've yeah. shown themselves to be powerful. And they're like, oh, now what? Uh, and they run they, away. Right? Or they manifest it and then they lose it. Right. Because they haven't, they haven't shifted, right? They haven't stabilized at a shifted, shifted identity level. Yeah. And there's, <laughs> sorry, when you were like, you know, but so my friend, my friend used to do this all the time. When I would manifest something, she would go, oh, wish for something else, wish for something else. You know? And it was like the best thing because I was like, right, this isn't the end. Manifest oh. something else, right? Oh, but wait, there's so, more. Right, yeah. exactly. What's it's next? like, and now I'm going into, you know, the whole, I don't know. I went straight into Encanto when you said, you know, what else can I do? It's like, what else can I do? Right. Give it up, give it up. You know, I'm just like, oh, play that song on repeat whenever you're trying to manifest, you know, and so it's, it's fantastic. But yeah, so, I mean, these are all the things, right? And mm -hmm. so when you're, when you're stepping into a space and you're recognizing that the procrastination is coming up, come back to this episode and listen to these tools again, because yeah. there's a lot of different ways to look at it and a lot of ways to be with it. And the, the only thing we didn't say to you was beat yourself up about it. Yeah. Do not do that. Yeah. Don't do that because that oh, is, an, a, that's a resistance pattern. Mm -hmm. Judging yourself for what you're doing is a resistance pattern too. Yeah. So it's just trading one resistance pattern for another. So yeah. don't beat yourself up that, that yeah. serves zero purpose except to, to keep you in the place that you're at for longer. Okay. All right. And with that, I just want to, I just want to say one more thing, just yeah. one more thing. Okay. So, so as you're listening to the episodes, you're going to notice that Kelly and I, we're, kind of, we're talking about the same thing. We have different language. We have, you know, kind of a different approach to it. So just notice, like tune into yourself and notice, like if you hear an idea or you hear something, what resonates for you? So there might be this feeling of like, oh, that's kind of ooh, or like a little tingle or this like curiosity. So that is your inner self giving you guidance in terms of this might be something to try. Right. Yeah. So know that you're going to, there's going to be like so much information, so many ideas, so many strategies. You don't have to do them all. Right. Yeah. Just like, Please don't try off, and do them all. Yeah. Let yourself <laughs> off the hook there. Right. Use your inner yeah. guidance to, to determine what is, what is the one for you. Yeah. Totally yeah. agreed. Yeah. Okay. And with that said, please like, subscribe, and share. We really appreciate your support. And remember, what you focus on expands. What you intend is what you create. So choose wisely. We'll see you next time. So that's it for today's episode of Spirit Guides Podcast. Head on over to iTunes, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen and subscribe to the show. Every week, one lucky listener who subscribes and posts a review on iTunes will be entered into a drawing for a $10,000 value grand prize and a private reading with Kelly Sparta herself. Be sure to head on over to spiritguidespodcast.com and pick up a free copy of Kelly's gift and join us on the next episode. Show